Hello, I'm Chris Cube, the glamping guy, and I'm here to boil down what it takes to really run a glamping site. And I get the I get the question quite a bit. What does it take? I've boiled it down to five basic steps to starting a glamping business. And if you get your head around these five basic steps, you pretty much can do it. First of all, is choosing the right location. If you haven't gotten your property yet, you have to choose the right location. We were really blessed because we have a piece of property. We've lived here for 23 years, and we've got the beautiful creek in our backyard. This is Monument Creek. It actually flows all the way through Colorado Springs and we're on the north side of it where it comes right out of the mountains so it's uh it's really nice <laughs> but location really being close to like a state park or trails like we are we're, we're very close to pike national forest which is the largest forest in colorado the point is is that if you choose a location that's unique that people could really enjoy and and and, and find pleasure in uh, that is that is first and foremost of what you do. Then you just need to think through what makes it unique for visitors. Number two is the fun part. That's actually setting up the glamping site. Now for me, and it's a good story, I'll link to it up, in, up somewhere on, the, on this video because basically we remodeled our bedroom and I set my tent up outside and after the remodel was done, <laughs> we threw it up at Airbnb to see what would happen. We booked out the rest of the summer. Setting up the site, or at least one site, and giving it a try, I really encourage people to do. You will learn so much from renting out your RV or your tent or your, your garage. <laughs> then you'll come back and just modify and improve and get better and better and be a better, a better host. So it takes getting wind under your wings so that you can start taking off and building a, a successful glamping business. Next, market your glamping site the world is so much easier to do i mean i i pity the people from 30 40 years ago when they didn't have airbnb and verbo and hip camp and all these other uh, short-term rental services that that make it easy for you to put your stuff up online and market we also have uh put together some social media campaigns and gotten onto facebook and twitter and, and not just social media we've gotten into local media we've we've had articles done by us by the local tribune and the colorado springs gazette has an article coming out on us next week and media begets media it just keeps keeps growing and you'll become very interesting and <laughs> people people will want to interview you and and get to know you and and come to visit Visit your place and not only that but get to understand your business and, and how it's operating number four is provide excellent customer service you really can't be a jerk you, you've, you've got to really enjoy hospitality it's not gonna be perfect you're gonna get dinged every once in a while you're gonna the key thing that I like to do is uh, under promise and over deliver you go to my Airbnb listings you'll see just the basic listings there but then we surprise them with like a s'more kit when they get here we make our own homemade wine and we, we gift them with a bottle when they when they arrive and people just like go nuts over that stuff those little tiny tidbits of customer service go a long way in the uh, glamorous camping business become an expert of customer service really serving the person who's visiting your venue and number five is just kind of a general overview be, be prepared for hard work it's not easy it's a lot of fun and it's very profitable but it is a lot of work like this tent is a good example this this tent right here is one of our best tents it's, it's right down here but the creek you can hear the creek flowing right outside your tent. We pulled this tent down for the winter because it's very difficult to maintain when the snow is, is falling. But we this last Friday, we got ready for a guest and, who was coming later that night, and we had to put the tent together and make it, make it happen. I mean, really, if you put in the hard work and effort, you're going to do great as a glamping host. There's pl plenty of opportunity in the glamping world uh, to, do, to do well, and the margins are, are wide, and you can, you, you can be successful at glamp hosting. So if you like this video, go ahead and like it below. I'm going to be making more and I don't want you to miss out on any of them. And we will see you for some more glamping videos. Can you hear the geese? There's three beautiful Canadian geese flying overhead. I wish I could take the camera down and show you, but they're flying right overhead. Wow, that's beautiful.